Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. In this video, we are going to start a new topic in Pandas, which is time series. And we'll look at what are timestamps, what is time series, and time zones. And we'll also look at what is UTC, which is coordinated universal time, and intuition about how to calculate UTC. So this is an example of a timestamp that you'll start seeing once we start our coding. This is a long string which has two parts separated by the space in the middle here. The left part is the date and the right part is time. So in date here we have the year 2020, month uh, 7 and then the day is 8. And on the right side we have the hour 17. Uh, this is on a 24 hour clock so 17 would be uh, 15 is 3 3 o'clock so 4 o'clock is 16 and then 17 would be 5 o'clock then 12 minutes and seconds is 55 seconds and after the decimal we have the microseconds which is 41466 thus uh, this is the timestamp and this timestamp is uh, what we are going to be using quite a lot to either extract the year from a particular date or uh, timestamp or a month or a combination of month and year, day, weekday or an hour or any any of the, these items we could extract from the timestamp. Now why is this important so the reason is because the timestamp stores information that is happening at that particular point in time and that's how we can create a time series what time series is is a collection of events that happen at di different points in time so here if we think of this arrow as a uh, increasing time and the blue line vertical line as an event then let's say at this particular time, this was the timestamp we recorded for the time series and we can note maybe uh, the sales of a company were X. Then we move to the second time point and again uh, make a note of what the sales are and so on and so forth. We keep track of what are the sales at each point in time and then we what we are essentially doing here is creating a time series as we see with only three values and there would be another column here which has the sales values or if you are tracking any other item or quantity then you will have that along with this time series so this helps us kind of find seasonality or find uh, what are uh, what is the tr overall trend of a particular parameter uh, with time how does it change with time now time zones is that different parts of the world have different time so uh, there is uh, less uniformity if if we have two events happening at different parts of the world and we want to put those events on the same time then we need something that is consistent throughout the world and that's where the unix time comes in it's also called the epoch time, POSIX time, or seconds since e the epoch, and we'll know why in a minute, Unix epoch time. And what the Unix time is, is the number of seconds elapsed till a given date. So the date, the start point of the Unix epoch, or the origin, is 1st of January 1970. And if we know a date, particular date, until which we need to uh, find the time it would be the number of seconds or nanoseconds microseconds from january 1 and that's how it is calculated and we'll look at the example in a minute so let's say uh, if we are looking at today then the unix time or the utc uh, uh, would be 20 20 0, 7, 0, 8. and this is the timestamp however now this timestamp would be the same all across the world and for the region where I am living in India, the uh, local time which is the 
time based on the time zone here would be a little difference so here this is 1400 hours and uh, the india time would be 1900 hours so what is actually happening is we are if we look at the difference the total number of days between the 1st of january 1970 uh, until uh, uh, 8th of july 2020 we have around 1841451 days and those days we can calculate the hours by multiplying by 24 then calculate the uh, minutes by multiplying 60 then get the seconds milliseconds microseconds nanoseconds so the in the end what we get is uh, uh, the this is the number of 1 over 18 zeros those many nanoseconds have elapsed since january of 1970 and that that is uh, the importance of unix time uh, which is the first one is it stays the same every, anywhere you go and it can be used as a reference to calculate local time at any part uh, on the earth so uh, what are the different uh, coding possibilities when we work with time series in python so here are a couple of examples where on the left i have the some of the methods uh, from numpy then we have pandas in the center and there is date time on the right hand side so in this particular series we'll mostly look at the pandas part but i'll touch up on numpy and date time as we get into it so apart from these there are other libraries as well which can be used to extract different types of information from a uh, time series data now in the instances where time series could be used uh, let's say we have we are looking at stocks so we can track stocks uh, at different points in time and then extract some meaningful trends from it uh, check where, when the highs are there when the lows are there what are the uh, general closing uh, closing data points for a particular stock and another example as we talked earlier could be sales uh, over period of time for a particular company and maybe the sales in the holiday season increase and rest of the year the sales are down so that could be a type of seasonality that would could identify uh, when uh, we analyze the time series data so that was it for this video uh, i hope you got an intuition about what is timestamp how to read it, uh, what is a time series and what could be possible use cases of a time series and most importantly what is a UTC uh, timestamp and the origins of it and how it is relevant to the current local time and uh, so it's basically the uh, number the time elapsed since January 1st of January 1970 that was it for this video uh, i will continue this discussion in the next video will we also do some coding please like share and click the bell icon below to subscribe hope to see you all in the next video uh, thank you